Life is a thread four billion years long. It has survived at least five mass extinction events and come back from each of them stronger than ever before. Life demonstrates that we are more than the sum of our parts. And even when we find ourselves with our backs to the wall, life can find a way into the future. Landmine, a souvenir of our savagery left over from conflicts all over the planet. We've infested our world with more than a hundred million of them. Every year they kill or maim thousands of civilians, among them children at play with their friends. Think of the global effort that would be required to find and defuse more than a hundred million explosive devices buried in the earth. Hopeless, right? But botanists have devised an ingenious way to reveal the presence of dangerous explosives beneath our feet. They have bioengineered the Thaley Crest plant, whose roots can detect the nitrogen dioxide gas that these landmines and IEDs emit. If the plant puts out red leaves, beware. But if its leaves are green, then you can play there in peace with your friends. We can use our understanding of nature to spring the traps that we've set for ourselves. Let's take the subway to New Jersey. We're riding the mycelium, that underground network that connects 90% of the world's trees and plants. It's an ancient co-production of four kingdoms of life. Plants, bacteria, fungi, and animals. New Jersey was once a state with the highest number of dangerously polluted areas in the country. Shameful artifacts of our technological adolescence. But then we partnered with the trees and the plants. Poplars naturally transform trichloroethylenes, known as TCEs, carcinogenic solvents that are common byproducts of industry, into harmless chloride ions, simple salts. Microbiologists discovered that they could crossbreed two different species of poplar trees to enhance their power to neutralize TCEs. The extensive planting of these trees not only rid this area of its poisonous threats to human and other life, but also added to the number of trees that turn the most prevalent greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide, into oxygen. With our wars and our lifestyle, we dumped a lot of garbage on this world. Not just landmines and IEDs, but the toxins from our fossil fuels, the waste from our consumer civilization, nuclear power plants and weapons, and the electronic toys that we discarded at an alarming rate, laden with lethal heavy metals, lead, cadmium, beryllium, and other e-wastes. I have moments of despair when I try to wrap my mind around the enormity of the problem. But life even provides a way out of this nightmare. It's called bioremediation. See that node at the intersection? That's yeast. Without it, no bread, no beer. But in this future, we've used it to clean up the whole world. It was a means to neutralize the most dangerous garbage we produced. Yeast captured these poisons and prevents them from contaminating the water supply and the rest of the environment. Think of it. Nature offered us a second chance, a shot at undoing the damage done. But how do we keep from doing it again? Thank you.